former Senate President Dr. Bukola Saraki has said that the highly debated issue of zoning should be kept aside for now. The former Kwara governor said the more important point of focus should be finding the best person to solve the numerous challenges facing the country at this point in time. Saraki, in an interview with Newsman, where he also addressed many other issues, said he's capable of leading Nigeria. The southern region has insisted that 2023 is, is their turn to produce the next president of the country after President Muhammad Wari has successfully served the country for eight years. Saraki pointed out that the southwest should not be among regions conversing for zoning because, according to him, they cannot say they are disenfranchised, adding that the northeast, north central, and southeast are zones that have not had presidency or vice presidency. Speaking further, Saraki explained the present situation of the country, demands that other issues be put ahead of zoning, adding that the People's Democratic Party PDP had to push zoning aside when they were in their dear need of the right person to bring solution to the crisis within their fold. There are people who can provide solutions to the problems of the country if you give them the opportunity, Saraki added. Nigerian singer David Adeleke, popularly known as David Do, has received another piece of land in Banana Island from his billionaire father, Adedeji Adeleke. The singer took to his Twitter page to announce his newly acquired land, which was given to him by his father. David O then appreciated his father as he reaffirmed his love for the older man. He wrote, woke up to another and from Popsy in Banana again. Such a dope father. Love you, Pops. The father of three revealed that the land would be used to build some crazy shit for his kids. This comes two months after he did a housewarming ceremony for his second home in Banana Island, Lagos. The singer had on January 6, 2022 launched his new home with a star-studded house party. David O popularly called Omo Babaolo had celebrated his new home a month after the Ayakronans gifted himself a brand new Lamborghini. <laughs>